Welcome back, Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Duda joins us now ahead of a busy day to come in the city. Please address now the rumors of asylum seekers being kicked out of their hotels prior to this big eclipse event happening? No, as far as I understand, not, none of that has happened. Uh, what we have had was, we obviously, we do have a bunch of refugees, asylum seekers in Niagara Falls hotels. They've been in for a number of years since crossing over Roxham Road. We've been one of the main places. Uh, the federal government has a, an arrangement directly with a number of hotels. So those people, a number of them, uh, they do three-month contracts. They've been uh, renewed for another three-month contract. So when that happens, any bookings that maybe the hotel had aren't going to happen. They just continue to roll over and, and renew. But none of the asylum seekers have been kicked out of any hotels for the eclipse. How problematic is all of that for a city that relies on its tourism? It, it's a challenge. I mean, there's only a certain amount of hotel rooms, and you get a lot of tourists. And I mean, after COVID, yeah, we were slow, but it's ramping up every year. It's getting busier and busier, and it's the lifeblood of our community. 40,000 people count on tourism to feed their families. So it's very very, very important. People say how important. I say it's up there with oxygen. So it's it's really important. And right, now speaking of tourism, uh, April 8th is going to be one of the biggest days, probably the biggest day in Niagara Falls history. Tell yes. me about uh, how many people you're expecting to come into your city that day. Well, you know what? I'm going to really rely on Brian that day because the weather is going to be a big determinant. You know, we're... <laughs> <laughs> So, so uh, we're, we're talking, so we're going to find out what's going to happen that day. But if the weather is good, it's going to be really, really, really busy. And I've been told, the Hotel Association called me yesterday, there are still some good hotel rooms available with good rates earlier in the week. So if you want to come on the Friday and the Saturday and stay until the Monday, there are lots available. I know I was in Canadian Tire yesterday in Niagara Falls. They've got a lot of uh, eclipse glasses available. It's going to be a big, big day, and we're really counting on it. We really need it to be a good day. All hands on deck. I'm really proud of everybody in our emergency personnel working so hard to make sure it's a safe experience. It's going to be a very fun. We got a lot of surprises. NASA will be there, Canadian Space Agency, Guinness Book of World Records, the Hornblower boats are in the river, and uh, and then the other aspect, of course, we ask everyone come prepared. Make sure your gas, your car's gassed up, batteries charged. Be ready. Comfortable shoes. You're going to be doing some walking. We're going to make history together that day. Now, with close to a million people there, or more than a million people, what's the sales signal going to be like? Is that going to be a problem? Yeah, that's a great question. So we're bringing in uh, Bell and Rogers have brought in extra cell towers. They call them cows, and these cows will be put up. And we've learned from last uh, past events like Nick Willenda and our New Year's Eve shows where right at midnight after the final fireworks, everybody's on their phone. They want to call someone, text someone, FaceTime, and also we compete with the U.S. signal. So what we're going to do is bring in extra capacity so we've got the bandwidth so everybody can continue to communicate. So it's going to be fun. Just plan your trip. Don't come last minute. You know the challenge, Adam, is that uh, we're within a day's drive of half the population of North America. A lot of people make last minute decisions. I'm saying just plan this one out a little bit. Measure measure twice cut once all right let's move on from the eclipse we got about a minute and a half left jerry seinfeld yes was in niagara tell me about that oh it was a, such a great show at the old g stage at the niagara falls falls view casino uh they are now doing 120 to 130 shows on the major stage and 200 shows on the avalon theater so great opportunity he was hilarious as usual i mean there's a lot of us people who uh really really enjoyed seinfeld so a lot of good entertainment options here in niagara falls for sure what else do you have going on in town? Well, we're going to be opening up today the Stanford Branch Library. It's been closed for about four years as they renovated, uh, they made it accessible, they brought it into the, the modern century. If you get a chance, get down there. I know uh, I was joking about Conan the Librarian. You remember Conan the Librarian? You don't remember that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Brian remembers. <laughs> anyway, come down to the library, check it out. We're grateful for the north end of the city. It's been a long time coming, but uh, worth the wait are the three words we say. All right, you lost a bet. We got 20 seconds. What do you have to oh, do about it? Oh, my God. So, yeah, the Grimsby Peach Kings Junior C team beat the Niagara Falls River Hawks. I had a bet with Ward 4 Councillor in Grimsby that I would agree to wear the their jersey at my next council meeting. So next Tuesday, yes, Grimsby, I will, yes, and I won't have a broom because they swept us, but now they're taking on Dundas, so we'll see if there's a similar right. be bet with uh, Mayor Horvath. All right, Jim, thank you very much for your time. Good luck on Monday. Oh, what about the shirts? Oh, yeah, nice shirts. Look Here we this. go. I got Moon in Niagara <laughs> Falls. <laughs>